I think that many people are computers already. And so I think that it's important to recognize that it's not just this abstract term of future individual or political identity. I think that really anybody who is committed to the commons and, and commoning, so the process of commoning, of creating commons and supporting commons, I think all of those people that are engaged in that, I would consider them in some sense computerists, maybe without them knowing it. I do think at some point, though, there probably needs to be a more of a macro level awakening to where that commitment to the commons reaches the level where you become counter capitalist or start challenged, actively challenging capitalism. So that kind of enlightenment needs to happen. I would just want to say something that's related to what we were talking about before that I think also relates to, to how to become a computerist is that in many ways, this collaboration challenge or coordination failure is I think it's rooted in a, in a discourse and a narrative that is constantly hammered into our minds about, you know, that it, that we have to compete with each other, that the competitive, that, you know, we're in a competitive society. And so there's not really the, the support for collaborative thinking. And I think it's ultimately what has to happen is there has to be this shift. And that would be at the root of what I would see as a kind of a, a shift of broader consciousness and towards computerist consciousness would be that realization that we would be better off in collaborating.